Hey, good afternoon, guys. Pastor Artie with your manna and a big glass of ice water. Woo! It is hot in the Inland Empire. Man, we've had a few days out here where it was 100. And, man, it, we were cooking. You know, I for those of you that don't know, I drive for a company that uh, we drive uh, sales cars around for auctions. And, man, they get hot. <laughs> it's hot. But you know what? The Bible tells us that in the end times, those that don't serve Christ are destined for the lake of fire. You know, that's one hot spot. I have to adjust my phone. It's starting to fall. I'm sorry. But you know, it's a hot spot. It says it's going to be wearing a gnashing of teeth. You know, I can't imagine. I mean, it's hot out here, but I can't imagine where I would just be crying and just gritting my teeth so hard because it's so hot. But you know, that's what happens to the people that don't want to know Christ. They want to live their own life. Well, I serve God in my own way. How many of you have heard that line? You know, that's a very dangerous line to spit out. You know, my kids have used that. I'll, I'll worship God in my own way. You know, there's only one way to worship God, and that's in spirit and in truth. That's what the Word of God tells us. But, you know, there are those out there that will accuse you, come after you, do every manner of evil against you. You know, right now, I'm kind of going through that here. You know, my dogs, um, they are um, they're pretty quiet until somebody comes up and knocks on the door. Then, of course, like any dog, they're going to protect their property. But you know, we have had the, um, the manager here at these apartments accuse me of not taking care of the barking dogs and that they're just a nuisance. So she doesn't want to renew my lease. Well, that's fine. You don't have to renew my lease. That means God has something better. But you know what? You're falsely accusing the brethren. That's sad. I don't know if I should find myself a lawyer. Maybe I should. You know, this place right here, I have run off probably about, I don't know, a couple dozen homeless people who have camped out here at night. They go to the pool area and sleep. They use the shower in the pool area to shower. Heck, they've even jumped in the pool and, and relaxed. And then they get up at like 2 or 3 in the morning, and that's when I catch them asleep out there, and I run them off. Yesterday, I caught a guy that was uh, during the day. He was probably about 6.30. And he goes over, he's kicking the gate, and I asked him what he was doing here, and he told me to F off. <laughs> That's not a good sign. I told him I ought to kick your butt. That's what I ought to do. And he kicked the gate open, and I said, wait a minute, where are you going? And I started to chase him, and he ran across the street. <laughs> well, I had my dog with me, so I couldn't run her across the street because she got little tiny legs. She's, she wouldn't make it. But you know what? That guy really angered me. But see, it's just a long line of things that a Christian will do in order to keep others safe. You know, we have a lot of elderly here, 70 and 80 years old, and they put a lot of junk out on their patios. And you know, these guys just come in, they steal stuff for quick money for their booze and their drugs. And I've been running them off for the past year I've been here. And I haven't even gotten, well, I did finally get a thank you from the manager, but you know, she goes, well, you ought to call our security service. And I said, well, your security service doesn't even work. I've seen them. I have seen those guys three times in the whole year that I've been here. Three times. To me, that's not a security service. That's just guys that show up if they want to show up. You know, they don't have to work. They don't have to have, they have no accountability. But, you know, in Christ, we are accountable. You know, we have to make sure that we do what's right. It says to stand in the way of those being led to the slaughter, it tells us in the Old Testament. And that's what I do. When I see guys out here that don't belong here, I'm going to run you off. And if you don't want to get run off and you want to have a little physical altercation, that's good too. I don't mind it. I would like a little exercise. <laughs> I haven't thrown down in a while. <laughs> You'd be a perfect subject for me to throw to ground. But, you know, the thing is, is that God protects those that he loves. And he has his hands upon those that serve him. And I know that 
when he closes the door, he opens a window. So things happen to us, not to us, but they happen for us. Let me get that right. Things don't happen to us, they happen for us. So all this is part of just yet something else God wants to do. Maybe he wants to get me out of these apartments into a nicer apartment that Linda and I can enjoy. Matter of fact, we're looking for a two bedroom. So there's the blessing right there. I just pray that we have enough time to find it and that it comes available when we need it. So you can pray for us there. Also remember that the wicked one, the, des the destroyer of the world, comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He is the accuser of you. He points his crooked little finger at you and say, see what they do? But God says, you know what? See what they've done in me and see what they've done through me. And God will sit there and say, case dismissed. Today, family, live by faith. Get out there. Trust God with your whole heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all of your ways, and he will make your path straight. I got a couple more months here, and then I'm out of here. I love you guys. I'm praying for you. Linda and I love you, and we'll talk to you real soon. So, God bless you, and have an awesome day. Bye-bye.